Before flying to Rochester, the president spent a few hours in Minneapolis at the Intercontinental Hotel at Twin Cities International Airport. He hosted a fundraiser there for Minnesota Republican candidates. As Esme Murphy reports, it's the president's fundraising effort, and she also has the Democratic response. The president's fundraiser and rally is aimed at helping Republican candidates, especially GOP 1st Congressional District nominee Jim Hagedorn and 2nd District Congressman Jason Lewis. This visit is really much about protect the House, and it's important that we reelect Congressman Jason Lewis on November 6th, and then with this incredible pickup opportunity in southern Minnesota that we elect Jim Hagedorn as well. Lewis is facing a rematch of his 2016 race where he narrowly beat Republican challenger Angie Craig. A new New York Times poll shows Democrat Craig with a commanding 12 percentage point lead, 51 to 39 percentage points over Lewis. Polls in 2016 also showed Angie Craig leading Jason Lewis, but she ended up losing by just under two percentage points. Craig says one of the reasons why is a last minute surge of voters for President Trump. Craig says she is not taking the rematch for granted. So I'm not concerned about polls. What I'm concerned about is how do we make health care more affordable in this country? I'm concerned about how do we get the cost of education down. GOP candidate Jeff Johnson is expected to speak ahead of the president's rally. His DFL opponent, Tim Walls, says voters have a clear choice. Minnesotans are, are really eager for us to unite around our one Minnesota vision. This divisiveness, this hatefulness, this kind of small politics, not what they're interested in. Esme Murphy, WCCO 4 News. If you'd like to learn more about the candidates on the ballot this year, we have that information at WCCO.com slash election guide.